Now, these problems aren't necessary to do at all because the answer to these problems is no solution and infinite solutions. Okay? And you should know that by immediately looking at it. I'm not saying that you're going to, you should know it right now because you haven't learned it yet, but hopefully you will understand it in a few minutes. But when you see a type of problem like this, and we'll talk about why it is specifically a no solution or infinite solutions and how you can tell, one of these is no solution, one of them is infinite. The question is, which one's which and why? Okay? So I need you to look at it. Remember, this is an absolute value is greater than or equal to negative 5, and this one's an absolute value is less than or equal to negative 5. So one of them, no matter what you put in there, it always works, and one of them, no matter what you put in there, it never works. So I want somebody to tell me about example 3. Raise your hand if you'd like to tell me what the answer is to example 3 and why, and I will give you a prize. Can I guess? You can totally guess, but remember you have to have a why as well. So if you want to guess, it's not just saying no solution or infinite solutions, and then I'll be like, why? And you'll be like, I don't know. Like, you're not going to get a prize then. All right, one, two. Are you raising your hand? Yeah. No. Okay, three for Charlie, four, five. Two. solutions because no matter what you put in the absolute value signs it'll be positive and that'll be greater than negative five. okay perfect answer all right so what grace is saying is that this side always has to be positive do you guys agree because an absolute value in the end is going to make it positive i'm not saying the x is positive i'm saying that like if i put in a negative three right here imagine it would be negative three minus six which is negative nine what's the absolute value of negative nine 9, which would be positive, right? So no matter what, the absolute value is going to make it positive in the end. Do you guys agree? And when is a positive number greater than or equal to negative 5? Always. A positive number will always be. So this one is infinite solutions. Nice job. Go get a prize, Grace. Sometimes the book will write all solutions in here. For those, I do not require you to draw a number line. If you were to draw a number line, what would you draw to show that any answer is possible? Yeah? Would you just draw the, the number line? Yeah, so the, the, well, the number line would go both ways, and then there would just be an arrow going both ways on top of it, like any number is good. But that just looks like two number lines on top. It does, I don't think, see why we have to do it. Like, it doesn't make sense to me. Unless somebody wants to disagree and you guys want to do more number lines? No. Okay. Are you raising your hand for example four? No, I'm raising my hand for question. Do it. So do we have to do, show like any work? No. Like this system? one, like if you get a problem like this, I wouldn't even expect you to write positive is greater than or equal to negative 5. If you realize it is, then you write infinite solutions. So what do you have to watch for? To know it's an infinite solution, yeah? Right, okay. So it has to be a greater than sign or a greater than or equal to. And it has to be a negative number on the other side. These are the things to watch for. And remember, this only works with an absolute value problem. All right. Who's up for telling me about the other one? I think we all know it's going to be no solution, but I need to know why. Hands up. One, two, three, four, five. Anybody else? Three. Mm-hmm. Right, so it'll be positive over here no matter what. Yeah, and like, negative five. Right, so it's basically saying when can a positive number be less than negative 5, which would mean it'd have to be like at least negative 5.001 or whatever, and it can never be, so this is no solution here. All right, now tell me what I should write down here. What should you watch for? Go ahead. Right, it needs to be a negative number, and it needs to be less than or less than or equal to. If you see those things, you don't have to show any work on those problems. Just write no solution. Your homework, which is going to be due on Tuesday. Yes, because I am a kind, nice person. It is. So it'll be a short period. But it's also numbers 1 through 19 odds, which is a total of 10 problems. And a whole bunch of these 
if you're paying attention, are infinite solutions or no solution where you have to write no work. So please don't get mad at me when you do a whole bunch of work and then you go, it was no solution, I did all of that. Okay, that's on you. That's on you. You also right now have 10 minutes to get this started, so please work on it right now. Yes, please. Yes. Yep.